factory produces parts of a machine, one out of every 10 parts produced by the factory is found to be defective. In a sample of six such parts, calculate the probability that A, exactly three will be defective. B, at most three will be defective. C, more than three will be defective. And then D, at least one will be defective. So in the above question, okay, we are told that a factory produces parts of a machine, one out of every 10 parts produced is found to be defective. So we are um, going to write down our binomial probability. So probability is, we shall have x is equal to x to be equal to. Now, in a sample of such six parts, okay, In a sample of six of such parts, so our n is equal to six, we have six combination x. Then we are told that one third of the uh, machine produced is defective. So one over 10, p is equal to one over 10. So in this case, our p is equal to one over 10. So our q will be equal to one minus one over 10, which will be equal to nine over 10. That's those ones which are effective, okay? But this is defective. So we shall have one tenth raised to the power x. And then we shall have, um, this is 9 over 10, 9 tenths raised to the power um, 6 minus x. OK? So with this, we are going to find the probability that, calculate the probability that a, exactly 3, will be defective. So if we want for exactly 3, so probability for exactly 3, which means our x is equal to 3. So exactly three, we shall have six combination three. So we shall have one tenth raised to the power three. Then nine over six, also raised to the power six minus three is three. So when we calculate this, this is going to give us, so this is going to give us six combination three is 20 times one over 10 will be 10 cubed is one over 1,000. Then times nine over six or raised to the power cube will give us 9 over 10, sorry. So we have 9 over 10 raised to the power cube. So 729 over 1,000. So when we calculate, our final answer becomes so 0 0.01458. So this is our final answer for exactly 3 is defective. Then we move to B. And our B says that we should find the probability that at most 3 are defective. At most 3. So probability of at most three are defective. So this will be equal to for at most three, okay? Which means um, not more than three. So we can have when P x is equal to zero plus or x is equal to one plus we have x is equal to two and then plus when x is equal to three. So we have to find for all this for at most three, so it means not more than three. So we can have zero, one, two, and three. So we go for when x is zero. So when x is zero, this is going to give us, we shall have um, six combination zero. Then we have one over 10, raised to the power zero, and then nine over 10, raised to the power six. And then for x equals to one, we shall have six combination one, then one over 10, or raised to the power one, and then 9 over 10, all raised to the power 5. This is raised to the power 5. Then we go for x equals to 2. So we shall have plus 6 combination 2. Then we have 1 over 10, raised to the power 2. And then 9 over 10, raised to the power 4. And then the last one will be when x is equal to 3. So this will be 6 combination 3. Then we have um, 1 over 10 or raise the power 3, and then 9 over 10, raise the power 3. So when we calculate this, this is going to give us 0 0.5314. 0 0.3543 plus 0.0984 plus 0 0.0145. 145. So when we add all this, we are going to get 
0.99868. So this would be our final answer. Now the next one says more than three. For yeah. obviously that we have more than three will be defective. So more than three. So more than three probability of more than three. More than three will be for four. More than three means four, five, and six. Okay. So we shall have when x is 4, probability for when x is equal to 4, or probability when x is equal to 5, or probability when x is equal to 6. So these are the three we'll be getting more than three. So three or more than three means more than uh, we have 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So for 4, we shall have um, probability when x is equal to 4, we shall have 6 combination 4. Then we have 1 over 10 raised to the power 4. And then 9 over 10 raised to the power 2. So always you should know that when you add this, you should be able to, uh, when you add it, it will be equal to this um, number here. So 4 plus 2 is 6. Then plus, when x is 5, we shall have 6 combination 5, 1 over 10 raised to the power 5, and then 9 over 10 raised to the power 1. And then when x is equal to 6, we shall have 6 combination 6, 1 over 10 raised to the power 6, and then 9 over 10 raised to the power 0. So when we add all this, we shall get this combination 4, 1 over 10 raised to the power 4, 9 over 2 raised to the power, 9 over 10 raised to the power 2. This is going to give us 0 point, we have 0 point 0 0 0 1, 0 point 0 0 1 2, 5 plus we have 0 point 0 0 0 5, 4, plus. So when we add all this, our final answer becomes 0 0.00127. So this is our final answer for more than 3. Then the last part says at least 1 will be defective. So at least one will be defective. So let me clean this, since we are done with this. So at least one will be defective. OK? So number V, we have at least, or D. We have the at least. So D is probability at least one will be defective. So if you want probability of at least one will be defective, which will be one or more. So it means you have to calculate x equals to one, x equals to two, x equals to three, x equals to four, x equals to five, x equals to six, and add all of it. But one short way we can do it, we can do it like one minus none is defective, okay? One, one minus none is defective will give us at least one is defective. I'm saying one minus none is defective will give us at least one is what? Defective. So we shall have one minus none is defective. Defective means our probability is x is equal to what? Zero. So none is defective. Okay, so this will be one minus. When x is zero, we shall have six combination zero. Then we have one over 10, all raised to the power zero. And then 9 over 10, all raised to the power 6. So this will give us 1 minus. When we calculate this on the calculator, we shall have, we shall have 1 minus 0 0.5314. Final answer becomes 1 minus this, which will give us 0 0.4686. So this is going to give us at least 1 will be defective. So with this, I have come to the end of binomial probability. I'll leave you with some more examples and I'll encourage you to solve more examples, okay? To, so that you build on your confidence so that you'll be able to solve more questions under these topics. So I'll see you again next time. Bye.